Break up to make up. That's all we do. First you love me, then you hate me. That's a game for fools. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! All right, what's up, y'all? Welcome to the uh, Drinking Discussion Podcast. I am your handsome and charming host, uh, King Bach. I'm here with my beautiful co-host. I am your beautiful co-host, Miss V. So, uh, real quick, uh, I changed the name of the Instagram podcast. So, it's DND. That's the letter D, the letter N, the letter D, and pod. So, make it simple for y'all, because I, I, I don't know what was going on. I was trying to tell people they was finding something else. So I, I, don't, I don't know what was going on with that. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> to kick off today, uh, Vita is actually gonna. I will. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you actually go. You actually go get into the <laughs> yeah. into the into the into the shit today. Okay, okay let's get into it. All right. So All right. What's up? So we want to talk about breakup. Mm-hmm. So first, let's talk about how men and women handle breakups differently. Like, why? Is it always, why does it always seem like we as women, like we get real emotional over the breakup, but y'all just be like living life. <laughs> wait, 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 it's wait, like, wait. everything's okay. I'm like, um, so like, did you even like me? <laughs> but wait a second, but wait a second. So you, you saying that, that, that guys don't, um, we don't act like we care. Yes, y'all don't act like y'all. Y'all act like it's all good because like, we look as a guy. You you're not supposed to show emotion, man. Like okay, so I'm different. I'm I'm just put that out there because I'd be crying. You get three days with me. You get three days with me soaking, and I and I'm up out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like I might be up upset and crying, and you know, in my feelings for three days. But that's all you get. Three days. Three days. That's all you get, man. Look, man. Look, that's all you get is three days. But why? Like, why is there? What? Who put the three days limit on it? I did. I did. I like odd numbers. I like odd numbers. So three days. You get three days. Three days. But what if you still feel a little sad on the fourth day? Oh, I gotta get over showing emotion. Oh, I gotta get over that. Whatever I gotta do. If I gotta go to the club and 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 you know, party myself out, drink a little bit. Nah. No? How, I mean, you can't limit. Okay, so first we're saying you don't show emotion. Now we're saying you, you can show emotion, but but there's limits. No, I said me. I said I'm different now. Okay, you're nah. different. But, <laughs> but it's still the same thing. Like, why is it only three days? Like, why can't you be... Why would you Why would you want to be soaking for, for longer than three days? I'm not, That's just depressing. I'm not saying you have to soak for three days, but you're not over it in three days. Oh, no. I, I'm not saying that I'm over okay. it, but okay. I will... Okay, you're just I will... pretending to be over it in three days. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess that's fair enough. Yeah. I guess that's fair. But, um... I mean, why, but why is it... So, if you just show emotion to yourself? Like, you keep this all hidden hidden, or you talking to your friends or, like, what are you doing? Oh, so, guys don't talk about stuff like that. No, we don't, we don't talk about stuff like that. Okay. You know, and, and and if you do, if you have a uh, a guy friend that you you know can converse with something like that about, nine times out of ten, they will be like, "Toughen up, nigga." Get over that shit. It's a man thing. Yes, it's it's a man That's thing. What what what, what do women do? What do what do women do? I mean, break up? I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be as emotional as I want to be for as long as I need to be until I'm over it. And oh yes, I'm going to tell my friends and we're going to talk about you. <laughs> we are going to talk about him. Of course. We're of gonna course. Talk, and nobody's going to like him. We all going to be mad together. As soon as the event happens, the girls, they hit the group chat because every girl has a group chat in their phone. Every girl has a group chat in their phone. I don't have with a group chat. Phone. I don't have a group chat. You don't have a group chat. I don't in have your a group chat. With your I phone. have my friends, but I take them separately. We don't all. That sounds friends. like a lot of work. That no, sounds like I take a lot them of work. Separately. I take them separately. I don't have a group chat. Yeah, you, you, you are definitely an interesting one because <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like I feel like that's like a lot of effort. Like how many how many friends would you talk about something like that? With? I mean, I, my circle is real small, so I might send two, maybe three takes. That's all it takes. I mean, but you could just send one text. Oh, geez. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. Anyway, continue. I'm just saying. But uh, but yeah, you know. And then it's always gonna be that one friend. Girl, I told you he won't shit. True. <laughs> <laughs> Probably all. About time you realize it. All of my friends. It. It's gonna be all three of them. <laughs> it's 
I'm going to get the same text back from everybody. <laughs> terrible, terrible, terrible. Oh, yeah, we're also on Facebook Live today. So um, say hello to Facebook. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> hmm. But, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, it's not. Okay, I, I'll put it this way. For guys to be emotional now, it's more accepted than it was before. Because, I mean, before, like. Before you, what? Before Drake. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you want to be honest, so Drake made it okay for guys to be emotional. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We can get in our feelings. We can oh, get in our feelings. Okay. <laughs> because of Drake. Thanks, Drake. All right. So look. So so since we're on the topic of breaking up, um, so after breakups, like um, the, all right. So if you broke up with a guy, would you take him back? Would it would it be a possibility for uh, him to redeem himself? Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. If we if we if we broke up enough for me to tell my friends we broke up, nah, you're not coming back. Wait, wait, wait. So you don't so 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 if it was like something little and you'd be like, oh, I ain't talking to you no more, I ain't talking to you no more. You ain't gonna tell your friends like, bitch, let me tell you. Um I don't know. Probably not. If it's something real small, because I know my friends, and if I go back, they're gonna be like, Oh, we already talked about this. I thought you weren't going back. And that that's too much. Okay, so, so you don't want to, that you you don't want that uh that uh that backlash from you. Well not exactly. backlash from your I don't, friends, I but don't, you don't want them to recall it like yeah. girl, I told you not yeah. to go back. You should listen to me next time exactly. and they stay to giving out bad advice. Exactly. If I if I tell my <laughs> hold on, wait. <laughs> no, they give good advice all the time. You don't want to say it's good advice. You no, you wanna... said they're giving out bad advice. <laughs> So, but yeah, if we, if it's like a for real, for real breakup and I need to make sure I'm not going back there, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm telling my friends because they're going to make sure I don't go back. Now, if it's something that I'm like, I might think about it, I'm not telling them. All right. I mean, you know, I, it is what it is. I, you know what? I don't, um, I don't, I don't, I don't go back. You don't give second chances mm-hmm. at all? At all? No. It's not even like, not if, not even if it has been, you know, time in between. People change. You don't, you don't give people a second if, chance. I say this: if the young lady broke up with me, or I broke up with the young lady, it was for a reason, and that's it. Okay. You know. Now I will, I will, I will put a timestamp on that. Everything from age twenty-two of me until now. <laughs> You're not going back. To- I'm not going back. <laughs> Not going back. What was going on before 22? Oh, I was just immature as shit. Like, I didn't know what life was. <laughs> so, so that those you would go back to? You're not even. That's so far away. But no, nah, but I was I was immature, so I didn't know how to conduct myself in a relationship. So okay. it was like you know, nine times out of ten, it was probably my fault. Okay. You know. Okay. I was, I was young. You know. Okay. All right. All Fair right. enough. Fair enough. So, okay, so if you if you break up with somebody, like y'all been in a relationship, y'all tight or whatever, you know, we y'all been together a few years, you've had birthdays, anniversaries, um, Christmas, Valentine's Day. Would you expect to get those things back? Would you expect to get gifts back, gifts given during those holidays or those um situations? Would you expect to get them back? No. Nah. Nah, nah, I can make money back. Like that's material stuff, man. Okay. Like I spent money, I can make that back. Like that's that's nothing. Okay. I don't I don't expect it back. Now, the key the key is when they start getting petty and saying that nigga, I bought that fucking PlayStation. I want that shit back. That's my PlayStation. Bitch, if you're man, I bought all them goddamn games. I done paid for that PlayStation four times over. You ain't getting shit back. No. <laughs> that's <Okay>. my PlayStation. <laughs> I mean, I'm not petty like that, but I understand. Like, if somebody did come back and say, "Hey, I want something back," I'm gonna give it back. I'm gonna give it back. What if, what if it was close? Like, okay, for example, I was dealing with somebody. Mm-hmm. We broke up four oh, days. Oh, we after. taking this podcast to the next level. Be to share stories. Okay, I can share stories. <laughs> I have stories. Um, we broke up. We ended up breaking up four days after Valentine's Day. Four days after Valentine's Day. Um, 
Okay, I so gave, so, I gave everything back. So let, 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 let me let me let me ask. Um, what was the nature of the breakup? Did you break up with him or did he break up with you? I I broke up with him. Okay, all right, all right. Because I was gonna say like normally guys break up with girls if they intend on breaking up. <laughs> they, 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 don't even, said, they don't even let the holiday season get around. We don't make it. Okay, true. Yes. So we broke up four days after Valentine's Day, and I gave him all his stuff back. Mm. I was like, you can have this. I don't want it. I don't want a deal. I mean, I I mean but it was close. Like, if it had been months later, like, at that point, I'm already using these things. But right, right, right. four days later, I haven't even really opened it. So you can have it back. Oh, you want, you want to return to the store? Return. Return to Cinder. I don't he care what he, you do he with it. He had a sad face on. I don't care what you do And the same lady that he bought it from at the store going to be looking at him. I don't like, care what you do. damn, what happened? You don't have to take it back <laughs> to the store. You can, you can box it up for the next one. <laughs> You come to the next one with bearing gifts. Oh, I man. helped you out. Not 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 hit him with the five day late uh Valentine's present. Hey, hey. She <laughs> like, yeah, baby, I was thinking about works. you and uh, <laughs> you know happy, happy Valentine's Day, but later though, you know. Right. She getting all the bath and body work. <laughs> Never would have made it without you. Never, never all right, all right. <laughs> I just don't know why <laughs> why we're being serenaded today. I didn't ask for this. <laughs> I did not ask for it. Hey, look, you ain't gotta ask for it. It's here. It's here. I see. It's here. You can get all, all, all. Everybody gets all the serenades today. That, the ser- serenades, okay. sir. Whatever. All right. Um. Yeah. So, uh, gift giving, gift giving back. Um, if you buy me something, I'm not giving it back. Um. <laughs> You don't have to. It's not a requirement. I just didn't. I mean, sometimes well, if it's, it's better than throwing it away. Like, I'm not going to throw good stuff away. I'm going to keep it. Uh-huh. I mean, I'm going to be kind of like, uh, he gave it to me. So I'm probably going to put it away. Like, I'm not going to use it immediately following. You going you to forget about the nigga that used it? Like, damn, I didn't even know I had exactly. these. Exactly. I'm going to be like, dang, he was good for something. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> this, one, this one gift, that was good. But uh, the rest of it. Fair enough. Yes. Fair enough. All right. So, um, after you break up with somebody, can you still be friends with them? Can y'all still be friends? Like, is it? I know some people are like, "Hey, um, this isn't really working out. Let's just be friends." But most of the time, they don't mean that. They don't mean that. That's just no, a no, nice no. way of breaking up with somebody. But, but really though, could you be friends with your ex? I am. I I, I could, and I am. I am actually, um, good friends with an ex. Um. And as she actually asked me about relationship advice. And I Ooh. give her good relationship advice. What? She said her friends ain't shit. <laughs> you said her friends out here giving bad advice in the group chat? Yeah, in the group chat. They're giving out bad advice. In the group yep. chat, we're giving out but, bad uh, advice. I, I, think, I think it more so depends on the foundation that y'all was on beforehand. Because her and I had like a friendship foundation before anything. You know what I'm saying? We had a friendship foundation. Oh, we tried to mess yeah. around. Shit ain't work. Then, you know, we broke up. It was a bad breakup, too. I ain't gonna lie to you. It was bad. What'd you do? It, oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, <laughs> what did oh, you do? Oh, I didn't do, I didn't do anything. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, no, we had a bad breakup, but, you know, uh, we ended up reconnecting and, you know, she apologized for the things that she did and I said, okay, well, cool. You know, I, you still my nigga at the end of the day. Like, I, That's what's up. I never had an issue with you but that issue. Okay. You know. So you're only friends with one of your exes? Um, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I, no, I can say I can say I'm only good friends with one of my exes. I'm cordial with a lot of them. Though. Like okay. a lot of them, if I see them out, yeah, I'll speak. Like, hey, how you doing? You know, how the kids? You know. Okay. Oh, <laughs> how you doing? How the Not kids? Not your kids, right? No. Okay. No, I ain't got no kids. We just got to clarify. No, no, I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no kids. We just no got to clarify. Okay. Um, I agree with that. As long as y'all. As long as you had that friendship, um, the friendship foundation, you can usually go back. If you didn't have the friendship foundation, usually I can't see it going back. I mean, I'm really good friends with one of my exes. I told them everything. I would ask them anything, but we were really good friends before. So I understand what you mean. Like you can go back and be friends friends with them like we don't we don't want to be anything else ever again and we're cool with that <laughs> we don't want to be anything else ever again Ever again, and we're cool with that but okay. but we're still we're still really good friends okay okay ain't nothing wrong with that 
So uh was was that your was that your last breakup? Was with the gentleman that um that you're really good friends with? Technically, yes. Okay, what does technically mean? Like <laughs> Oh, okay. So technically yes, because that was my last like relationship. Mm-hmm. Because now people don't want to be in relationships. Y'all wanna have like situationships. So it was not the last situation ship, but yes, yeah, the last relationship. <laughs> No, okay. um, <laughs> mm-hmm. leave that there. <laughs> I know. I see what's going on. So, so you see what's about to happen. <laughs> um. So, why? Uh, uh. So, so, so. Uh. Why? Why did you guys, you know, part ways? If you don't mind me <laughs> digging into your life, because we had that friendship foundation. We were really good friends. We tried it. Um. I think he more so tried to be in a relationship for me. Mm. Um. And he, I've been that guy. And he didn't really want to be in it, but we tried it. It didn't work out. We were very, it was mutual. Like okay. we were like, this is not working. We were really you, good and friends. That's, and that's this responsible. Is a terrible idea. That's responsible. Like, that's, let's that's go very back to responsible. being friends. And we, and we went back to being friends. I'm very mature. Is he, he going to watch the podcast? He probably will. Congrats, congrats <laughs> to you, brother. That was very responsible. That was very responsible. I was, uh, I was not as, 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 uh, intuitive as as you and V were um so last breakup <laughs> um no nah, it was just two toxic niggas together like that shit was just not gonna work like i'm just being 100 percent honest with you like um uh i learned I, you know but i learned a lot i That's learned good. a lot um i learned that i had some some issues that uh that i had to deal with okay. to uh to 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 be a good guy for a woman um it's very self-aware yeah, very, very self-aware of very self-aware very I, proud of you. I, I ended up i ended up you know doing therapy starting therapy uh while that in that great. relationship yeah black men in therapy Let's look man here. look brothers brothers let me let me highlight you for a second man get your mental health checked out Absolutely. please do no i'm, I'm being so serious Super right important. now um because like a lot of the times we walk around with these issues and we don't know that we actually have these issues so you know unless you go and talk to a professional about it you're never gonna know because you talk to your homeboy that nigga's gonna be like bro toughen the fuck up if you if you you talk to your girl she's like what the fuck is wrong with you like there's always going to be something like talk to a professional get everything looked at you know what i'm saying like just just you know as well as your physical health, your mental health is just as important, Super man. Important. Because like with without that, I would have been sh- just toxic to everybody. Like I, I, it, it got to the point where ah, I was I was already semi toxic. While in that relationship, I became more toxic, and then I was starting to be toxic to the people around me mm. that I loved and cared about. And that's when I started noticing it was an issue. So I said, okay, I need to get my shit together because this is not the way to go. That's that's very good. Yeah. That's very brave. That's um, yeah. That's yeah. that's great. I yeah. give it to you for that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm very proud of <laughs> myself. Recognize that you were toxic and wanted I'm, to get it together. I'm Absolutely. very proud of myself. So so you said your last relationship, y'all y'all mutually split away. Yes. So have you ever dumped a guy? Like, Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That was very. If it, if that was very confident. Go, it's time for you to go. Okay. All right. And have you? <laughs> I, I, okay. So have you ever been dumped? Or are you always the aggressor? Because your personality is very aggressive. My personality is I, I'm very passive. The lies. The <laughs> lies she is spewing from very her passive. mouth right I'm now. I'm not aggressive. Um, I'm sure somebody would say they have dumped me. Mm-hmm. Um, but I don't, I don't, I think I'm, I don't think it's aggressive to know that you're in a bad place and you want to get out of it. That's not aggressive. That's saying, look, I got to do me. Right. I got to figure out how to, you know, put me back to where I need to be. Right, right, because right. Because once people start, um, once you give people that power, once you say, hey, you, um, I'm, I'm really into you and you start doing all these things for this person, you are giving them power over you. Mm-hmm. And some people manipulate or use that power against you. Right. So Agreed. once you once you realize, hey, like this isn't this isn't going well. I'm not very happy. I'm doing all these things and I'm not getting any benefit from it or like any emotional benefit from it. You gotta go. Yeah. And that's okay. That's okay. And so if somebody dumped me because they felt that way, I'm good with that. If I'm if I'm doing that to anybody, like, yeah. So I'm sure somebody would say they dumped me. I'm not, I can't recall them right now, but 
Nigga, you was a non motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> Right, unbothered. I was super oh unbothered God. about it. Still unbothered. Bye. <laughs> oh my God. Um. Okay. So, uh, so after you break up with somebody, so I, I know I, I've known you for a while, V, and I know how you maneuver and how you operate. So after you after you break after you break up with somebody, no, no, you're 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 a good you're a good woman. You're a good woman. You know, you, you try to hold them in the road. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, but um, but. After you break up with somebody, if they hit you with the "Are you up?" text, is it still cool to get the buns? <laughs> you want to hear the hard oh. question? Um, no, it is not okay. <laughs> it's not okay. You asked me if it was okay. Okay, it's not okay. Let me rephrase the question. No, so we're good. No, 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 this is the good stuff. So if, um, okay, so you, you and a guy are dating and yes. you know, it's not, it's not a bad breakup. It's right. just, it's just, okay, we have some differences. We don't need to be together. Right. Okay. But you know, you in your room and it's late and you know, you get kind of, you get that kind of tingle and, 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 you know, he might be, he might be, you know, a <laughs> couple streets over coming from the club and hits you with like the, yo, you up? How you responding? I mean, it depends on if I'm up or not. <laughs> no, you up. You up. You done got the tingle, nigga. You up. <laughs> you are up. Ooh, um, there's a lot of... It depends on a lot of things. Oh, it, depends on a lot of, it depends on a lot of things. I mean, it could happen. I'm not going to say... <laughs> so, so what? What if it's the? Uh, what if it's like the fresh breakup? Like y'all just had this conversation? No, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. It's a mutual, but it's a mutual. It's a mutual splitting. Like, okay, well, look, you know, these are things that I don't like about you. Okay, well, these are things I don't like about you. Well, these things aren't changing. These things aren't changing. Okay, okay. well, maybe we should just be fresh. If All right, cool. If it's fresh and it's mutual, the answer is definitely no. Okay. Because I feel like that starts blurring lines. Mm. Like if you just broke up with For somebody. Who? It, br- it blurs lines for everybody. Okay, it blurs lines for me. Okay, all right. I was about to say, that, it blurs lines for the women, blurs, not the guys. It blurs lines for me because... I'm advocating for the fellas. <laughs> I hear you. You're real strong on that. Real strong. Um, But no, because then it blurs lines. Then you're like, okay, we broke up. I'm still trying to get my mindset in a place that we're, we're just friends. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get my mind in that space. So if you start polluting my space with things that are more than friends, then now I'm I'm confused. I'm like, do you want me? Do you not want me? Like, do you want to be together? I don't really know what's going on. Okay. So, um, let's see here. Uh, so, for you, no sex is with the exes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially not a fresh breakup. A okay. fresh breakup, you're going to be confused. And then after that, it's definitely no, because, I mean, no. Mm-mm. Okay. That's, again, giving them back that control. And we don't want them to have that. I, you know what? I got a whole spiel on this. Go for and, it. And no, 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 no. Because that, that, that's going to take up the whole podcast. <laughs> if, if I get my whole spiel on it, it's going to take up the whole podcast, man. And I'm going to lose it. We're going to lose a lot of female listeners. They're like, oh, I don't fuck with that nigga. So I know. There's still a few of my direct Hey, yo. <laughs> who, who you been speaking to? References. Oh, mm, references. all right. All right. All right. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> All right, man. You know what? <laughs> I stated myself in. Shoot. So, would you, I, I mean, just yes or no? Sex with exes. Yes um, no? I'm going to go with it depends. <laughs> I'm going to go with it depends. I'm going to go with it depends because it depends on, it depends on the ex. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it really just True. depends on the ex. Like, if, if, uh, if I know that she can't separate the sex from the emotions, then I'm not going to do it. Like, I'm not going to put myself in that situation to hit a. Nye, 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 nye. Like, I don't, you know, I don't want to hear all. <laughs> why is she gonna be? I mean, why it's got to be like that? You the one that put yourself in the position. That, but it, no, no, no. It takes two. It takes two. It takes, it takes two. It takes two. It takes, it takes two. two. But I'm glad that you respect her emotions, even though y'all not yeah, together. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's important. Yeah, you got to respect people's emotions. That's good. If you don't, That's then good. it would just be a whole bunch of heartless niggas. Um, <laughs> <laughs> heartless. Okay. <laughs> At least y'all know. At least you know y'all heartless. I mean, or y'all could be, or y'all have the potential to be heartless, I guess. So. <laughs> Look, man, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm put it to you like this. 
the reason why a lot of guys don't show me yeah, emotions is because we don't want to seem weak. Like showing emotions is what we have learned as a sign of weakness. So those of us who have who have had like father figures in our lives, like, you know, it was always, you know, if you fell and hurt yourself as a kid, it's like, oh, don't cry. You know, you're a boy. Don't cry. You know, it's like we, we were taught to cut off emotion at an early age. But that's, like, that's different. That's a different type of emotion. I, but we we're kids. We don't know what else to relate it to. Right. I understand. But as you grow older, like I understand not wanting to cry in front of your boys or not wanting to seem weak or not wanting to seem soft mm-hmm. per se. I understand that. But what about between you and her? See, okay, so so let me let me let me let me keep you on this real quick. So if you have spent your entire life hiding a, a set of emotions that, you know, or masking it with other toxic related action. Um, if you spent your entire life doing that, when you get with a significant other, you're not going to be able to show that. Okay. It, it, or it's going to be extremely hard. Okay. You know, cause, because I didn't, I didn't know how to show emotions to a female until I had to learn that shit on my own. I've never seen my father cry. Never. Never. I've seen that nigga upset, but I've never seen right. him cry, you know. So it's like, you know, my my muse or my role model, he never cried. Right. And he told me not to cry. So I'm not gonna cry, no matter who who I'm in front of. But it took it, it took me maturing, me getting older, and me actually having conversations with him now to understand, you know, the era he was raised up in because you know, the era he was raised up in was different than the era I'm raised up in. You know, okay. so it's okay. it's 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 different. It's different. It's different. But I mean, it's you know, a lot of cats my age, and you know, they are gonna tell them, you know, either they pops or their father figure told them, hey man, don't show no fucking emotion. Right. And so that's why you, as a as a millennial male, you need to say, you know, it's okay to show emotion. Yeah, it so is. So your your guy friends, and I mean, like, be that that open person for them like that non-judgmental like if you need to show emotion i got you right 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 because like you said Dave, a lot of them are are being raised or that learned behavior that not to show emotion so right. it's important for um it's important for the men now to say hey it's okay and and mean it and mm-hmm. mean that it's okay so i mean i understand guys not wanting to look weak or look soft but like you can't bottle those things up. That's all. Okay. So So when you when when you're dealing when you're dealing with a breakup, because you know, you told me that um um when you're dealing with a breakup, you know, if it's fresh, you still, you know, you gotta go through your emotions. Right. Like, how do you, what what do you do to numb yourself to that person? A lot of stuff. Um personally I write. I journal a lot. I write about a lot of things. I um I talk to my friends. Uh-huh. I do talk it out. I do talk it out. Um I am very also I'm also very concerned about my mental health. I okay. I also attend therapy. Oh. So I do that. Hey, baby. Yes. <laughs> yes, we out here. <laughs> Just like you get a physical every year, you need to you need to check up on your mental health. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm completely pro therapy. Okay. So um I do that. I definitely, I, I like to talk about it with my friends, but my friends, I understand they have my best interest at heart, but they're always going to not necessarily attack, but they're all, they're all so mad at the guy. Like mm. they're not really trying to help, help, help me heal. Right, right, right. They're Is really that... just trying to attack him. Like, oh, he, he was this, he was that. He was, he wasn't good enough for you. You're right. too good for him. You are beautiful. You're going to go out. And I love that. <laughs> And I love that. I mean, I that's do. women empowerment. But y'all give y'all give each other more but compliments. But that is not y'all healing me from this me. relationship. I know I'm beautiful. Like <laughs> I know I look good. I know it was his loss. I know all of that. But also, let me talk about this. Let me talk about I'm hurt right now. Okay. <laughs> he hurt my feelings. Okay, <laughs> like, let's okay. Talk about that. All right. So there's that part of it. Um, but anything. I love music. So dancing, singing, dancing is like my out for everything. Dance is my complete stress reliever. <laughs> I dance all the time. I dance three to four times a week. Like that's my stress reliever. Okay. So, so you, like part. <laughs> <laughs> you be singing too? I sing. 
Oh. I'm not saying I'm good at it. I don't sing to everybody. Let, I'm not going to be on the podcast let, singing. Let, let's do it. No, no, no. We can do a duet and say it later real quick. No, that's okay. I'm mm-hmm. good. No. Mm-mm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not about to embarrass myself like you are. <laughs> oh, I'm not, I am not embarrassed. I am not embarrassed. I see. You feel confident I, about this. I am very confident. This. Look, um, man. I have, I have, I have gained a lot of confidence about myself. That's good. I have gained a lot. That's of good. It. You can be confident mm-hmm. in your singing. I'm not going to sing with you. <sighs> I didn't gain that confidence. Oh, uh, so you don't, you're not, you're not, you're not there yet. No, I'm not there. No. Okay. So what do you do? <sighs> so I got my three days. I'll soak. I'll, I'll go in my little turtle shell and disappear from the world. Um, you know, I do things that I like to do that make me happy. Okay. You know? I might, you know buy a new gadget or something like that. I don't know. Like, you know, buy, go buy a new camera, buy a new microphone. Just, you know, you get how girls do therapy shopping. You know, guys might do that too. They might go to GameStop and buy a new game or something. Okay. You know, I mean, it's, it. it's always a possi- you know, possibility. Like, I, I, I just, you know, it's no it's no set way of going about it. I definitely don't, don't talk to anybody but my therapist about it unless I have like a friend that was like around for the entire duration of the relationship. Like, I might be like, yeah, bro, like we broke up. Damn, for real, bro. Can you straight? Yeah, I'm good. All right. Shit, try to turn up tonight. Like, <laughs> <laughs> right. I do. I mean, and we appreciate those friends. We oh, appreciate yeah. those oh, friends. Oh yeah, man. Look. Like, okay, let's turn up. We're, we're gonna get over it. Okay. Question. Oh. Side. Side question. <laughs> okay. So, what about the phrase? Uh, the best way to get over somebody is to get under somebody else. That's bullshit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, let me tell you, that shit is toxic as fuck. <laughs> because first of all. You bringing whatever toxicity that you have from that last relationship into somebody new, and nine times out of ten, that girl's gonna think you really like her. And then on th- man, look, I'm, what are you talking about relationship? No, like okay, so all right, so boom. So if you're saying to get over somebody, get under somebody. Mm-hmm. So if if I break up with a young lady and mm-hmm. then I start messing with another young lady, like immediately afterward, it's like I'm not done dealing with this first situation like her energy is still around like you know whatever toxicity or animosity or whatever i have from that relationship is still around so i need to get over that before i start dealing with anybody else okay. you know what i'm saying because that you, all you're doing is carrying baggage you are and collecting it too yeah yeah <laughs> yeah you can you you add to it right more weight i understand right i mean i agree with you i just wanted to see what your thoughts were on that <laughs> Oh, no, that, that, those are my thoughts. <laughs> I, I appreciate those, it. Those are my thoughts. I appreciate thoughts. it. So, uh... <laughs> see? I got a question for you. Uh, yes. You ever do anything crazy after a breakup? No. I mean, well, I mean d- hold on, wait. Define crazy. <laughs> Anything stated in that Jasmine Sullivan song? You break no. windows out of cars? No. Did you no, stab a nigga's ties up? Yeah. Did you bleach his clothes? Did you cut up his drawers? Did you uh, cut the power cord on his PlayStation? Did you uh, 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 pull up to his house three, four in the morning, banging on the door? No. You've never done anything like that? Never done any of it. Never done any of it because I wouldn't want somebody to do that to me. That's because true. Because if you mess with my car, we're going to have a problem. Like, we're going to have a huge problem if you mess with my car. So I'm not going to mess with yours. Because right. I don't, I don't, the retaliation, I don't need that in my life. You right. I don't need that in my life. Like, right. I don't need to be hiding my car or checking my rearview mirror and scare somebody coming for me. Like, I don't need that. I so, understand. no, I'm not coming. I, no, I'm not doing anything crazy. Like, we broke up. That's the end. That's that. Like, I might talk trash. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't want the retaliation from it. So, no, I'm not going to do anything crazy anybody because I don't want nobody doing anything crazy to me. If right. we broke up, it's just over. Okay. It's I over. Can, I can understand that. I can understand that. I think uh I think I probably did one crazy thing Uh-oh. in my entire life. Tell us about it. So all right, so I was uh <laughs> so I was dating this young lady. I was I was a low key stalker. So uh I was dating this young lady and we had just broke up. So I was in college uh and the apartment complex that I stayed in, she stayed in a different apartment complex, but I could walk out on my balcony and see her apartment. Like I said, I could see her front door. I could see where she parked the car and I could see her room light. Like it was, it was, I was hurt. Like I was, I was butt hurt. Like, let me, let me, let me. <laughs> Y'all live too close to be dating in the first place. I'm not dating nobody that lived that close to me. Like, oh man. So, <laughs> so. would not be that close. So, uh, I mean, we was in college, man. Like. Nope. 
I feel like it, we, we'll put so many places to stay. You got we were broke college, college students. You date somebody at a different college. Oh I mean, my you god! Can't be that close to me. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, she had broke up with me, right? She, I, this was when Twitter was popping. She had hit me on Twitter in the in the direct message and was like. Yeah, I, I I can't do this no more. I was I was all kinds oh, of hurt, man. She broke up with you through Twitter. Yeah, yeah. Oh. She I didn't even deserve a damn text message, man. Oh, <laughs> peanut head ass. All right, so you know she broke up with me or whatever, man. And um, oh man, like I you know I was trying to say I was like, yo, it's got to be another nigga. Ain't no way she gonna break up with me. It got to be another because uh, I I did some shit for her. I see where this is going. You know, I did some shit for her, so I, it got to be another nigga, man. So like, uh, so like, in order to get into her apartment complex, you had to go like buy her car. So like, I took my roommate's car and I went over there and I parked it. And he had just he had just got a different car too, so she oh, ain't know this car. Yeah. So I was kind of staking out, like I was doing some stalker shit, man. I was just, super stalker. Yeah, and then Creepy. I saw and then I saw the nigga. That's <laughs> what you get. Then I saw if the you, nigga. If you look for something, you're gonna find it. That's what you get. I'm so glad you saw it. Well, look, I, I needed to know for myself. But you know, you need to know. Need to know. That I was did. her business. She broke up with you. You but were she, done. But you okay. were yesterday's news. <laughs> yesterday's news. But I had to know. I had to know the uh, because it was it was some other stuff leading up to it. So I had to know if it was the same guy that I had questioned her about. Oh yeah! See, look now, now it's making sense. Once I start giving no, you the it's, facts, it's sh- no, I still don't. I still do not support you out here stalking this woman. I don't support that. Hey, look, but I just pulled up in front of the house. It's a free parking lot. Well, nobody gonna tell me what you gonna do. That's why I don't tell the. I don't tell y'all where I live because <laughs> I don't need you out here looking to see who else is coming. Oh man! I mean, but after. it was it was one time I was young, like I, you know, I probably never do. I, I, I don't care that much anymore. I really don't. Now I, you just unbothered. I am so unbothered. Like, okay. all right, if you're doing what you're going to do, I'm going to find out about it eventually. Like, especially if you anywhere in the RDU area, I'm going to find out about it eventually if you're doing something. Mm, okay. I put money on it. Okay. I put money on it. You still people are messy. No, okay. no, no. People are messy because they will come up to you with, yo, bro, look, I got you know what I'm saying right here. You just, what kind okay. of friends you got? You got a good group chat. <laughs> I'm trying to get in your group chat. <laughs> it don't even be, I could be at the club taking pictures and be like, hey, bro, didn't you used to mess with so-and-so? Yo, let me tell you what you're up to. Bro, I don't care. I don't mess with her no more. Oh, okay. I thought y'all still messing around. Like, bro. What? I love the support. I love the, the men's support. Female, can Women, can we be the supportive? There's women that come up to me too. <laughs> oh, hold Messy. on. Hold on. She coming for you. Oh, hold on. Wait. <laughs> Messy. Hold on. Not, we ain't on their side. We're not on their team. <laughs> you need to help us. Mm-mm. Help us. Mm-mm. Be on our side. Nope, they coming with all the, kinds of side. receipts and information. Our side, please. Mm-hmm. Ah, so, me. Why you always look at me like that? <laughs> because, like, you know, I, I got to make sure you're on point, man. I'm always on point. Come on. You, you always on point? Always. Mm. Huh. So like so so why are you so so why so why are you dealing with you know why, why are you dealing with a breakup? I know music is a big part of your uh, process. Yeah, it's on your breakup playlist. <laughs> Do I have a breakup playlist? I don't um, have a breakup playlist. I don't think so. Like I have I have songs like my regular playlist is always like I love neo soul. Mm-hmm. I love neo soul. Um. I don't really have a breakup playlist. Like Janelle Monet is always very like feminine empowerment. Like hmm. the future is female. So she, I mean, I listen to her, and there, there's some stuff on there that I could definitely relate to, and definitely empowers me or makes me a little better. Um, I'll throw it back for you. I'm throwing way back. Okay, so you know you're so, young. So what's up? How, how far are you throwing it back? I'm throwing way back. Okay. Okay. Even though now I wouldn't say I technically have a breakup playlist, there was um there was a breakup I encountered in like early high school, and um the guy broke up what's, with what's, me. What's early high school? I need details. <laughs> what's early high school? We talking you a freshman, a sophomore? Freshman, my freshman year. Oh, that wasn't a real relationship. Go ahead. It really wasn't. It really wasn't. It was. <laughs> puppy love but I feel like but in my mind it was real like all of it was real so 
Um, he broke up with me by email. That's how long ago this was. It wasn't even text message, Bruh. email. Bro, he ain't even write you no note. He sent you a, an electronic letter. In an email. Mm. Um, because that's how we used to talk back and forth. I don't know why that's what we did. Anyway, he broke up with me through email. And Emancipation of Mimi. <laughs> Mariah Carey, Emancipation of Mimi. That whole CD, that one got me through. I will say that. So sometimes... Sometimes if I'm feeling bad, I will try to revert back to emancipation of, uh, of Mimi. Okay. That, that got me through at that time. Okay. <laughs> don't, right. don't be hating. All we right. belong together was a hit. <laughs> was a hit. Okay. Oh so sometimes I need that in my life. Or, like or um, ooh, X Factor, Lauren Hill. Okay, that's a classic. That's a classic. Ooh, that's, that's a classic. That's a 90 song, but that'll get you through. Mm. That'll get you through. But, you know what my breakup song is? Oh, my, my favorite song, my breakup playlist? <laughs> Drew Hill. We're not making love no more. We're not. That's my. Sh- oh! Man, look, I can soak all day with that shit playing. Fair enough. <sighs> that's your song. That's your man, song. Bro, that's I, don't, I don't know what to say about that. That's my <laughs> shit, man. <laughs> I'm just, just throw that on, man. I'm just picturing you singing that. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> Loudly, the fucking brush, like making... whatever gets you through, whatever gets you through. You see the three tears that I went through. So you were, you were the whole, the, the whole group. <laughs> like I was Drew Hill. <laughs> the whole group. You sang every, every part. In, yes. in one line though. Yes. Like usually we do try to catch the ads, nope. but mm-hmm. you sang them all. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm a star. Okay. I'm start and the backup. You're vocally diverse. <laughs> I like it. Your vocal diversity is amazing. But my range is what my range is wild. My singing range is wild. My okay. singing range is wild. If you say I so. can hit you I can hit you with the bird way. <laughs> I obviously you cannot. <laughs> obviously you cannot. Don't come for me. I, in my head. That, <laughs> in my head. And leave it there. <laughs> leave it right there. You know what? <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. So, okay. So we know you have your, your three days that you give yourself to be emotional. Okay. But how long does it really take you to get over somebody? Ooh. I mean, it just depends on the person, man. Um, Depends on the connection we share. Because okay. if we shared a deep connection, man, it's going to take me a minute. But if it was, you know, tainted and, you know, uh, uh, just all kinds of wrong, and you know, it ain't gonna take me that long. Like I just, you know, when I once I once I uh set on the realization of okay, I'm good, I'm good. That could be that could be uh that could be a month, month and a half, two months, you know. But once I've set on the realization, like okay, well, you know, that's not good for me. Why why am I thinking about? It? I need to focus on other stuff, and I start. Focus on all the stuff. I'm good. All right. So you being over that person, does that mean that you're emotionally ready for another relationship? Like- um, it it may not mean that right away. Um, now if it's if it's pre- depending on the person that presenting themselves as wanting to be in a relationship with me, um, it may not mean that right away. But if that person that's pre- you know presenting themselves to want to be in a relationship with me. And I feel like they understand because I'm 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 divulging all that information out on the table. Like, look, right. this is what just happened. You know what I'm saying? We'll do da da da. Here's my problems. Are you willing to help me deal with them? <laughs> Here's my baggage. Are you are you willing to help me unpack? <laughs> oh, is it it's sometimes it'll be a lot of shit to unpack. No. Nah. Like, are these yours, my dear? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I understand that. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense. Um, for me, it depends on when the relationship was emotionally over. Mm. Because sometimes the relationship is emotionally over before y'all actually break up. You, you, you know what? You know what? Out of these, out of these two hours, <laughs> of these two podcasts that we done did, <laughs> that is that is like got to be the hardest, the hardest line I've ever heard you say. Like I agree with you so much right <laughs> yeah. now. Cause you emotion. Sometimes you emotionally disconnect from somebody. You check the fuck and out. You, and you, you know, you're kind of trying to figure out what you want to do. You're kind of at that crossroads. Like, 
Do I want to work this out? I put in all this time. Mm -hmm. Like we're heading in this direction. Do I want to continue heading in that direction or do I want to cut it off? Right. And I feel like at that point, you can kind of, you get over it a little bit faster because you emotionally disconnected so long ago. Right, right, right. So it's just, it's just the, the fact that you physically. Yeah, it's the fact that you like actually having that conversation with that person to say, hey, look, I checked out. I'm done. I, I'm trying to come back. I, it's not really working for me. I understand this is not where I want to be. This is bad for me. I'm going to remove myself. So at that point, you can kind of say, all right, like you can get into something a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. I feel like because technically you're, you already had that closure, even though you didn't necessarily leave, you already had that closure. And that's why sometimes I feel like you can't necessarily put a time frame on somebody going to the next person. Like some people are like, oh, you just broke up with him a month ago and you already talking to somebody else. Like you don't know when I clocked out. Mm. you don't know when I checked out yeah I mean and I don't think you should put a time frame on anything like if you if you meet somebody else and y'all really genuinely have a good connection and you come to them and you let them know hey I was in something this is what happened and you give somebody that option right of whether or not they want to continue to be with you right then at that point you might want to move on yeah and that's fine I agree. I that's agree. fine because in, because you already had that emotional closure Right. I agree. You're ready. I agree. I agree. Um, and if you're and and going to that next person and giving them that, they need to be um they need to know that they can take that on. Yeah. They need to know like I I'm I'm I know who I am. I know I'm confident enough within myself to know that I can be this person for you. And also, not make you not want to go back because sometimes you still want to go back to what you're comfortable with, even though it was bad. Yep. You still like comfortability. Listen, I already is know a, uh, all the trash he got with him. I already know all the luggage he got with him. I have already helped him unpack. We done hung these clothes up in this closet, and I'm gonna keep going with what I I didn't put in this work. I don't wash these clothes, <laughs> dried them, folded them, hung them up. We're going to stay here. We already unpacked this baggage. I'm going to stay here. Even right. though I don't, I don't necessarily like his style, <laughs> we already put it up there. That was, a, that was an excellent metaphor. Thank Good you. Job. Look at Good me. Job. Look at you. <laughs> All right. All right, I see what you're trying to do over there, man. Right. But I, yeah, so, but, so the next guy has to has to be strong enough within himself to know that you're like, he can, he can handle that. He can take that on. Right. Okay. I can, and I can understand that. And then same same thing goes with women. But guys have to have to uh, put that put that out there. You have to tell um, the woman what's what up front. Absolutely. Because you know if you if you uh, if you got you know baggage and you coming into a, another situation and you know you're not telling her. She's looking at you like, well, what the fuck is wrong with you? Ain't, ain't nothing wrong with me. Like, yes, nigga, it is. Like, you got baggage. So. I don't know, what it it's is, important. Man. And some of y'all think that y'all are done or y'all think y'all are over your exes or you think that you think that your ex is done with you. Mm. Sometimes you think your ex is done with you. So you're like, I'm going to keep moving. I'm going to keep moving. Right. And let her come back and you send that W-Y-D. <laughs> and she's talking about what you doing. You won't do with her. <sighs> You won't do with her. Yeah, that's right. And, and you need to know that. And Cut you off need all to state connections. That. You if need, you over, you need to state that. You need to give. You need to give the next person an option. You need to say, "Hey, look, this is the situation." Because y'all do want to act like y'all the ones that always dump somebody, and sometimes you got dumped. You need to say that. You need to say, "Hey, she left me." Because this is of, where I am. Because of X, Y, and Z. Because of X, Y, and Z. Mm-hmm. And you need, to, because if not, we still need to have that option. I need to know what happened to say that is she coming back? But yeah, so you, you, you need to give us that option. We need to know what happened if it was recent. Like if it was a long time ago or, you know, if you, if you know you're over it, that's different. But when you coming into something else, especially if, you know, I just broke up with somebody, you know, a month, two months ago, 
let me know because all your friends gonna be looking at me like, oh. <laughs> I, I, I I beg to differ on that part. I beg to differ. And this is why I beg to differ because okay. I'm asking what the reason was. I'm 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 really asking what the reason was. No matter how long ago it was. I don't care. I, I need to know the reason because yeah. a lot of people, first of all, a lot of people aren't self aware. Yeah. Uh-huh. See how I tied yeah. that in there? Yeah. 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 See, that's good. And a that's lot of good. people don't check on their mental health. And it could be something mental health related. Like, you know, but it could I, be. You know, and their tendencies could, you know, portray that. But, you know, I, I need to know because if, all right, let's say it's some reason like, um, I don't know, give, give me a reason. Because I can't think of one right now. Um, inconsistency. Mm-hmm. Let's say, okay, let's say, you know, her, uh, uh, the girl, I, the uh, young lady I'm talking to, her last guy broke up with her because of inconsistency. And she tells me, that okay, well, inconsistency was an issue in my last relationship. I wasn't consistent with my guy. Like, I didn't hit him up. I didn't check on him. I didn't call him. Whatever, whatever. And she does that while she's with me. I I know now that that's a that, that that's a problem that she's dealing with. Gotcha. Well, let me help you deal with that. Got gotcha. you. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. I'm willing to work with you. Like that's what bringing that bag is out. You know? Yes. Like, All right. Well, let me see what you got in this fucking bag before I you know say okay. Well, I don't want to deal with it. You know? Okay. So story again. <laughs> <laughs> I like these stories, Rita. I know the story. Okay, so I was dealing with this guy. I was talking to him um, exclusively, talking to him. We were not, quote unquote, in not a relationship <laughs> because because guys don't apparently like that term anymore. But anywho, what term? So relationship, y'all don't like that. Y'all be like, oh no, we just, you know, we just feeling how we we're gonna be friends first we're gonna see where this goes we're gonna see how it goes nobody wants to be like okay i want to be with you i want you to be my girl like that that doesn't happen anymore anyway that's, look, that's i'm from that, the era of sammy and um singing in the gym yard like look i look i'm gonna ask you if i want you to be my girl i'm asking well apparently <laughs> uh y'all just don't want people to i don't know anywho so we were in this situation ship and he was up front. He was like, I, uh, me and this, me and this girl, I have an ex. We broke up a long time ago. And he was very adamant that he was done with her. Okay. He was very adamant. I am done with her. We talking, we talking. I mean, for months, we're talking months. All of a sudden, he comes up, he starts acting real different. Starts acting real different. I'm like, you okay? You okay? What's going on? What's going on? Come to find out, girl came back. Okay, well, where did she leave off to? Did she get shipped off to the military or something? <laughs> no, like, she what? Didn't, what I mean, she, what she, she didn't, didn't get. To? She didn't go anywhere. Like, but the thing was, he was so adamant that he was done with her. But all she had to do was send a WYD, mm. and it was back on and popping. So. What I say all of that to say squirted, squirt a little bit of uh, a <laughs> little bit of juice on them flames and, and they, they won't right. all the way out yet. Exactly. Okay. Right. Exactly. So you need to be aware. Um and but that was a more it wasn't that recent. It was like five or six months before we started dealing with each other. Mm-hmm. So but the the fact that she could still come back, but mm-hmm. he was so adamant that that was done. So I never asked the questions because I was like, all right, you doing with her. You got to ask them questions. Now. You do. You have you to, ask those, you ask those questions. I mean, I know now I've learned my lesson. Oh, I'm nosy now I'm asking everything. Yeah, Where no, she, what, what happened? What did you do? Pull, what did she do? Pull up that nigga Instagram real quick. I want to see what he right, looks like. Are you still following her? <laughs> Is she still following you? Are y'all still Facebook friends? All right. Now that she's doing a lot. Like, look, I just want to know what happened, know. what the nigga look like. That's all. <laughs> That's all. No, I need to know. I need to know all of it. Cause she might come back. <laughs> That's how I feel about it. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. I'm just putting it out there. They, right. they might come back. <laughs> All right. So Some people out here so, taking their exes back. So, so aside, <laughs> aside from the exes coming back, um, fellas, we gotta uh, we gotta be confident, man. We gotta be confident for the uh, for the new young ladies that we're dealing with, man. Women like confidence. Women like men who are confident. Women like men who who take charge, uh, women like men who make plans, women like men who... Uh, make plans, please. 
I'm still on that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so let me tell you. Oh, how was your weekend? Like we still we we done like an hour of this podcast. I have not asked you how your weekend was. My weekend was great. Oh, did you do anything special this weekend? Um, I hung out with my friends. Oh. Like I had plans with my friends. It was my friend's birthday, so um, we Hi, went out. Happy birthday! So um, we went out for her birthday. It was great. You know, she had all her all her people together. It was good. It was a good weekend. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. My weekend was pretty lit too. Let me tell oh. you. Let me tell you. So oh, my weekend had it. a lot to do with our last podcast. I wish last weekend happened. This weekend. Yeah, yeah. This weekend happened last that, weekend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, gotcha. you know I'm with you. I'm with you. I follow. All right. So um, so uh, young lady hit me and said uh. W Y D. I said, Ooh. <laughs> I said, uh, Are we doing that? We can do that. No, no, listen, listen. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you how I finessed it. I switched the whole thing around. Let me okay. tell you how I finessed it. So she hit me with the, you know, she hit me with the what you doing on Friday. I said, uh, I said, nothing. Um, but I got some plans for us if you free. And she said, Oh, oh. she said, Oh, what we doing? I said, Well, uh, I said, Well, I got reservations for 515. Uh, oh, you, you had these reservations on deck, or you just nah? See, look, see, look. I finessed the fuck out of that shit because I didn't have them on deck. I had to make them. Notes, guys. I had to make them. I had to make them. I had to make them. But uh, I had reservations for five fifteen. I said, yo, five fifteen. Meet me at uh, meet me at the restaurant. It's a nice restaurant too, man. They had the white tablecloths and they bought that. If y'all follow me on on Snapchat or Instagram, y'all would have seen my little my little dinner plate. But yeah, you know, it, it was a, it was it was a you know nice little spot, right? I said, yeah. Then reservations at five fifteen, and um, normally I don't do this, but I was just getting off work. Um, no, no, let me back up. Let me back up a little bit. I actually had asked her prior to that. I said, uh, I said, um, were you looking to have fun or were you looking to get dressed up? It's important to ask that, fellas, because women outfit. Sometimes women like to get dressed up. <laughs> so um, anyway, she said she wanted to get dressed up. So I said, okay. So. Um, I set up the uh, set up the dinner plans. I pretty much just told her, meet me at this place at 515. That's when the reservation is. I didn't tell her nothing else we were doing for the rest of the evening. So we went out to dinner. Uh, she met me. She actually got there before I did. Okay. And I was early. Oh. I was early. She was extra early. Okay. Yes, ma'am. She, she, <laughs> look, look. She went in there and told them my name for the reservation. She knew what was up. She was like, I need to fact check this nigga real quick. So, uh, Okay, girl. So yeah, you know, yeah. So <laughs> look, here for you. So we had a wonderful, wonderful dinner. It was expensive as fuck, but it was wonderful. Wonderful dinner. Right. Wonderful dinner. Wonderful dinner. Yes, I hope you got uh, the steak and lobster, boo. Uh, steak and lobster. No, she got the salmon. She got the Ooh, salmon. Yes, boo. She got yes. the salmon. She got the salmon. Here for you. And um, <laughs> so after, uh, after, so I timed it just perfectly, right? So after that, we went to uh, went to Good Nights in Raleigh and uh, went to see uh, John oh, Witherspoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was a uh, that oh, was pretty lit. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that was pretty lit. So uh, um, I had a homeboy, um, you know, he, he kind of liked the plug, man. Okay. So he... So you got free tickets with him? No, I didn't say okay. I got free tickets. I say I say he kind of liked the plug. I didn't say... time you got them free tickets. I got them free tickets last <laughs> time. But no, but no, my boy my boy kind of liked the plug. So he got us some good seats at, uh, okay. at Good Nights, man. So we, okay. we got a good spot or whatever, man. And um, I mean, we had a we had a great time, man. Um you know, it, it it was it was fun. It was a fun evening, man. And then after that, so after we left Good Nights, um, you know, the night was still early. The show was at seven thirty. We were out of there by like ten something because they have another show at ten thirty. So we were out of there by ten, and, and um, you know, I mean, at this point, you know, look, my plans are completed. I'm ready to you know part ways and do whatever. And she said, "Oh, I want to take you to one of my spots, women." Woo! Let me tell you, she said, uh, "So you know, she followed me over because." <sighs> I wanted to pick her up, but of course I was just leaving work at five o'clock. So I couldn't, you know, go all the way to where she lived, pick her up and come back. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. I'll I'll let you slide. Yeah. So, you know, she hit me with the, oh, just hop in my car. And she has plans too. Yeah. Yep, she Everybody has, she got has plans, plans with these WYDs. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, yeah. So uh we went to one of her little her little bar spots. Cute little bar, man. Little little nice open concept bar, man. It was pretty lit, man. Um, she had me drinking tequila. Um, you know, me and tequila don't get along too well, but she had me drinking tequila. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, but you know, I mean I had a nice little tequila drink and you know, I had some um had some whiskey while I was there too. And 
Right. You know? I don't think that goes together. It doesn't go together. It doesn't. Okay. Go. I didn't drink all the tequila. She drank um, most of my tequila for mm-hmm. me because uh, she's a tequila drinker. Uh, I say tequila. Tequila. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. You, got, you gotta you gotta name your liquor, man. If you don't name your liquor, you know. But anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, I, I mean, that was the evening. We had a, we had a ball, man. We we so actually. I'm, had I'm a, guessing this wasn't the first day because you don't spend money on the first. <sighs> I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm. You. This is what you said. I'm just coming back to you with what you said. No, this was not a first day. Oh, this was not a first day. Oh. This was not a first day. Oh, so don't slide in his DM. <laughs> <laughs> no, please do not slide in my DM. No, 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 no. <laughs> We learned all types of stuff today. Yeah, okay. no, don't slide in my DMs, man. Don't slide in my DMs. <laughs> all right, so, but uh, but yeah, that was uh, that was my weekend. That was my weekend. Yeah, it was a good weekend. I like it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are here making plans, and she making plans. All I wanna do is make plans. I'm sorry, man. I, I'm just in a singing mood today, I man. I see you. I, I'm just going to let you take it away. Nah, nah, nah. I don't need to take it away. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Uh, so, V. Yeah. Uh, so, you were talking earlier about situationships. Have you ever Have you ever willingly indulged in a situationship? You think it's too hard? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, you said willingly indulge in it. At first, I'm like, not really. But I can't say I was given the option. So, yes, I have willingly indulged in this situation shit. Oh, okay. So, how would that turn out? Never good. None of them. The situation ships are what they are. Situation ships. There's Mm. situations that you should not get into. (laughs) So, situation ships are not really toxic. I I I don't think that. I don't think that. I think okay. So if you guys are talking, right? You're talking to a young man, and um, you guys aren't to that level of titles yet, but you guys are doing all of the relationship things that involve a relationship. You know, you're going over, and you guys are. You know, having all kinds of intercourse and cooking and cleaning <laughs> and, 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 you know, all kinds of stuff like that. Like, you know, I mean, that's a situation ship. You just, you know, you guys just haven't put a title on it yet. And not to say that he won't put a title on it. Maybe he's, you know, trying to fill you out a little bit first. Still a situation ship. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm still not, not a good thing. Well, it's not a good thing. That's not a good thing. If you are in something with somebody and, Y'all are doing everything re- like like y'all are in a relationship, but he doesn't want to put the relationship title on it. No, There's don't say don't, don't say he doesn't want to. He just hasn't yet. He just if hasn't he has yet. It yet. He doesn't want to. Okay, so look, what time frame are we talking about here? Because we gotta we gotta put a time stamp on it. We got to. I mean, what I feel like once you're already doing all types of relationship stuff. Like you, if, you could be doing that a weekend. Y'all could be busting down a weekend. Like what are you? On. <laughs> I said relationship thing. You could be cleaning dishes a weekend. Like what are you? What are we saying? I ain't washing nobody dishes <laughs> a weekend. It's possible. I got Look. dishes at down. I can wash them. I don't need. Oh wash my god! Why? Why you ain't wash the dishes before you came? No, home? I'm my dishes are clean right now. But I'm saying. Oh okay. I was about I to say. I was about to judge dishes. you. Why am I at your house washing dishes? I mean, look. What, okay. All right. Boom. So. All right. So. It's week two, right? He's cooked for you three days on week one. You come over and eat in his house three days on week one. Why am I at his no. house on week one? I don't know, shit. I, I don't know. I'm just putting out a I'm scenario. Not, no, we can go. Chili's wash their own dishes. Oh Applebee's wash their own dishes. This is a hypothetical for the situation. Their own this, now, it's not hypothetical because okay. I'm not going to his house. Okay, what week are you going to his house? It's not week one. Okay, well, what week is it? What week not doing? week two. <laughs> what week is it? Um, maybe like week six. Okay. All right. So we're on week six, right? Week right. six, he cooks for you three times on week six, right? You go over his house, cooks, you know, dinner for you. You know, y'all have a good time going about your business, right? Okay. So week seven, right? Week seven, you go over on a Friday night. He cooks dinner for you Friday night. Y'all do y'all thing Friday night. Saturday morning, he cooks breakfast for you, right? Breakfast in bed at that. Right. So when he gets up and gets in the shower and all that good stuff, 
you're not gonna take it upon yourself to be like, damn, let me wash this nigga dishes for him real quick while he's in the shower. Maybe. Okay. All right. God, so my it's like pulling team with you. you no, know, because I had to let I had to let the people know. Don't be at their house on the first week. <laughs> had to let the people know. Look, Don't go over there. What y'all be calling each other? Sis, if you want to go to his house and bust it wide open on the first week, you are more than welcome to. I mean, you, you are can. an adult. You can, but you are it's going to be a situation ship. But we're talking about a situation ship that might turn into a relationship. I'm saying that one is less likely to turn into a relationship. If you want to go over there, though, go over there. Do you. I'm not mad at you. I'm not <sighs> mad at you. I'm just saying don't set your expectations too high. Oh, my God. That's all I said. That's all I said. But I, you know what? I think... I think we, I think we try to, I think we try to gauge it in the, in the, in the manner of, you know, if you, if you're doing stuff early on, it's not going to last. I think that's what, I think that's what we think. Cause that's literally what you just said. That is, I, I, but I, I do feel that way. I wait, hold on. Let me see. I think, I think you can do that. You can, but I think it needs to be stated. I need. I think you need to. You need to say everything. Like, listen, I do kind of want to be in a relationship, but I feel like we are both two grown adults. If we want to do this, we're going to do this. But I'm telling you what my end goal is. Okay. Now, if that's not your end goal, we need to discuss that. I still might do it, but I know not to expect things because I feel like we as women sometimes come to expect those things. If we don't necessarily have that conversation. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. So that's what I'm saying. If you want to go over there week one, that's fine. If y'all have already had that conversation and you know that's cool, then that's cool. But if you come over there week one and y'all haven't had that conversation and you're expecting more, Mm. I'm saying it's less likely. Okay. And I can understand that. And I was speaking from the, from the, um, from the angle of the conversation has already been had. Okay. So the conversation has already been had. But week one, I don't know if I'm watching your dishes week one. Oh my god! I don't it was, know. It was just an example. It's just a, it's, it's just, it wasn't even like a real uh, moment to testament. It was just like a hypothetical. All right. Oh my god! So, right. so 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 we're coming we're, we're coming to the end of the podcast. Yes. Vita, are, 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 is your heart and mind clear? Do you have anything yeah. else you want to bring forward to the listeners and the fans and? Um, are you going to have a hive? You are going to have a hive? A beehive? Yeah. Are you going to have a beehive? <laughs> that is cute, though. <laughs> <laughs> but no, we're going to let Beyonce have her hive. I oh, you're not going to have a hive? I think, I think you will you will acquire a hive a on this beehive? podcast. Yeah. I do like that, though. That is cute. I think you will acquire a hive on this podcast. <laughs> I know all the guys are going to rock with me, but I'm just, I, you know, I'm, I think you... He is super confident, ladies. He's very confident. I mean, but don't fellas, see his DMs, though. The, I forgot. The, 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 fellas, the <laughs> fellas have no choice but the route. It's only two options. It's only two options. And I'm advocating for all men. Oh, yeah. You mean, are they going to ride with me or ride with you? Yeah, yeah. they're going to ride with you. Yeah, they're not, they're not going to be in the beehive. I mean, I don't know. They might be. They, be, they might be like, V is speaking truth. <laughs> She's she's thinking too. No, no, because because like, V not try, coming over on week one. My, <laughs> if they try to slide in my DMs, they're gonna be in the they, they beehive. Try, they try they try and get you. They trying to get somebody to come over on week one. Oh. Yeah, see, look at that. Look, look. Well, y'all better rock with him. Then. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. So um, again, follow us on social media. Uh, Instagram the D N D. That's the letter D, the letter N, the letter D pod on Instagram. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. At King Bach, K V N G B A K, all one word. You can follow me on IG at infragile underscore Phoenix. All right. And we want to thank all the listeners and the viewers today. Uh, Absolutely. Thank, thank you. you so, so much because if it wasn't for y'all, we probably wouldn't do this. No, now, we, 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 we would probably do this over brunch. Yeah, we would just have off offline discussions. Right, right. And you wait and you wait and get these these laughs and giggles that you're getting now. Absolutely. Um share this podcast with your friends. Share this share podcast with everybody. With, yeah, share it with your mama, your pops, your uncles, your aunties. I want everybody to see it. Cause they're gonna laugh too. They're gonna laugh too. They're gonna laugh too. Everybody loves everybody. it. Everybody. Everybody's gonna love it. All right, but look, we out of here. Peace. Peace.